Hello and welcome to this AE Basics tutorial that's beginning to look at the issue of exporting our compositions from After Effects to use elsewhere. Now we will be looking eventually at exporting to file formats, that is to movie formats and to image sequences, but at the moment we're looking at using our compositions in another program such as Premiere Pro. And we're going to be looking at the issue of Adobe Dynamic Link. Now the first thing to say about Dynamic Link is that it has improved tremendously over each release recently. So from CS5 to CS5.5 was a big improvement. From CS5.5 to CS6 has seen an even bigger improvement. And that from CS6, which is what I'm using at the moment, you no longer have to have the suite of products, i.e. Production Premium or Master's Collection, to be able to use Adobe Dynamic Link. You can have point products. So you could have bought After Effects CS6 and Premiere Pro CS6 as two separate products and you'll still be able to use Adobe Dynamic Link. Now Adobe Dynamic Link is the ability to be able to have a composition from After Effects live in Premiere Pro so that any changes I make to the composition in After Effects will update live in Premiere Pro without me having to have rendered it out of After Effects first. And Adobe Dynamic Link also goes the other way in that I can have sequences from Premiere Pro live inside After Effects so that any changes I make in Premiere Pro are instantly seen and updated in After Effects. So it's a way of having these files from both the programs available to the other program without having to go through the very long and laborious process of rendering it out. Now a couple of things to say about dynamically linking a composition from After Effects to Premiere Pro. Firstly is make sure that the sequence in Premiere Pro is also matching the composition size in After Effects. It's very easy to start creating something in After Effects and then want to dynamically link it to Premiere Pro only to discover that it's too small. You've done it the wrong size. The composition size is incorrect. If that's the case, then you'll have to scale it up and that can cause problems. It's better to get it the right size to start with. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. The other thing is that compositions have specific lengths, whereas sequences in Premiere Pro can sort of go on for any length you want them to go on for as long as you keep adding footage. So you need to make sure that your composition is long enough to be able to see all the changes that you need to make in Premiere Pro. So if you've only made it 5 seconds long but it's going to take 10 seconds to see it, yes you can use tools in Premiere Pro to stretch it out, but it's better to make sure that you get the length of the composition correct first. OK, dynamic link. You'd have thought that the first thing you would do is select the composition you want to export by dynamic link, and then go up to file, and then you might have thought of going to export. That's not got dynamic link, but if you look below it there is actually a dynamic link section, but it's all about importing or bringing in Premiere Pro sequences. If you want to take your composition from After Effects and use it in Premiere Pro, there are a number of ways of doing it. The most formal way is actually to start in Premiere Pro. And this is also going to deal with that problem that we were talking about, about making sure your comp size is correct. So if we go to the file menu in Premiere Pro, and we go down to Adobe Dynamic Link here, you'll see that we've got these options to import an After Effects composition, which we could bring in the other one that we've already used, or it says here a new After Effects composition. And if you know that you need to do work in After Effects, you want to do some dynamic text movement, it's actually better to start off by clicking this button, a new After Effects composition from Premiere Pro, because what will happen is it will create a new composition exactly matches the sequence settings with the exception of time. So let's actually do that. So new After Effects composition. I'm in Premiere Pro. Click that. Give it a minute and it says new After Effects composition. What size do you want it to be? This is the sequence settings of the sequence that I've got in Premiere Pro. So I can click OK. I want it to be that size. Click OK. And then give it a minute. And in comes a brand new empty sequence. Notice here, we'll look at the name. It's called it See How's It Start, which is the name of the sequence that I've got in Premiere Pro, Linked Comp 2. So the composition is linked already with Adobe Dynamic Link in Premiere Pro, 
and I can add something in here so if I just click my text button and call this uh, this is text and just shift that to the middle here okay and then I can go back to Premiere Pro and it's here in my project panel and I can drop it on notice it's 30 seconds long so it's pretty long and it's not rendered but if you've got a decent card you can actually see it there's no animation on this so it's not really difficult for it to play it back but if it had some animation and I didn't have a decent graphics card then I would need to render all of this out but that is the process of creating a new After Effects composition dynamically linked from Premiere Pro so at the moment I'm just going to delete that just for example so delete yes I want to delete it and if I go back to After Effects you'll see that it's still there and I actually need to delete it here as well it's come in note at 30 seconds long which might be far too long you can always go up to composition composition settings and change the length of time here so I'm going to cancel that and I'm actually going to delete that as well yes I want to delete it right so here is my dynamic link composition I could have brought it in from Premiere Pro going back to Premiere Pro and go to file Adobe dynamic link import After Effects composition and navigate to it but in my opinion the quickest way is actually just to sort of minimize a bit your After Effects take your composition so this is the dynamic link example the one we're looking at there dynamic link example take hold of dynamic link example and simply drop it in the project panel and then when I've dropped it in the project panel it's dynamically linked already and so I can just take it to my timeline and drop it in wherever I want it to go and we can bring in that text example and that's dynamically linked and you can see from this color that it is dynamically linked it's a different type of footage I, it says you can trim it but notice I can't trim it forward because the composition originally in After Effects was only this particular one I think five seconds long so it's not going to trim more than five seconds that's the maximum length it can go unless again I go up to composition composition settings and change the length of the composition and adjust it accordingly so that's the dynamically linked one brought in just simply drag and drop or if you want to do it the more formal way it's Adobe dynamic link import new After Effects composition notice by the way that if you select an item so I'm going to select something on my timeline here which is a specific length of time I can actually also have the option file Adobe dynamic link replace with an After Effects composition and the composition will be the same size and dimensions as that actual piece of footage on my timeline now another way of actually bringing it in I'm actually going to delete this one again just to show you delete it yes I want to delete it it's off my timeline another way of doing it is this is quite an unusual one is that you can actually import from an After Effects project so let me show you if you go file import or double click in the gray area here or control or command I you get the importer and you can go to an After Effects project so I've got this happened to be called flag test because I was testing some uh, some fantastic new plugin by Zaxworks Zaxworks 3D flag amazing plugin but if I go to that one it then opens it up and it says okay what composition do you want to bring in so I can go to my dynamic link example and I can click OK and it brings it in actually as a bin so I can't put a bin on the timeline clearly well I can try but it's going to look slightly odd in fact it's going to bring in other bits and pieces so I'm not going to bring in the bin so control Z on that one but if I double click the bin to open it you'll see that I've actually got the footage itself and it's not going to do anything because it's not a, a, an animated asset but you'll see that I've got two options for bringing it to the timeline I can bring it in as a dynamically linked composition there's a the composition but I could also if I want to bring it in as a sequence and there's the same thing as a sequence both will still update so if I go back to After Effects and I was to click in here and say get my text tool and add another X in because I'm a terrible speller not going to save it or anything but look it's updated both in the composition and in the original this is the beauty of Adobe dynamic link you can make any changes that you want in After Effects if I go to After Effects and I select that layer and I go to let's say effects color correction and I do tint and I decide I want my blacks to go to green yeah, a vibrant horrible green okay go back to Premiere Pro and there you go it updates this is what's so beautiful about Adobe Dynamic Link is that these things update really quickly there is one more option but it doesn't work so well I'm just going to show you After Effects you could theoretically go to File 
export Premiere Pro project. But the problem with exporting the Premiere Pro project, and I'm going to call this um, DL example, that's exported to my desktop, is if I now bring in, so I'm just going to go up to my main project here and go File Import, because bear in mind you can import a Premiere Pro project. So I go to my DL example, double click to bring that in. It says import the entire file project or selected, so let's just bring in the entire file. There it is. It says it's got all sorts of problems because it's not been able to bring in all the different plugins that I've used. That's a real problem. Click OK, and when I double click to open it up, I've got a whole bunch of compositions. So DL example was the one we used. Let's drag that to the timeline. Well, it won't even let me drag it to the timeline. What if I double click and open it? There's nothing in it. When I look at the solids, they're just solids. So if you export it as a project, you can't really get access to it in the same way that you can if you just use Adobe Dynamic Link. So that's how I can take what I've created in After Effects and use it in Premiere Pro. It'll update automatically. I think the simplest way of doing it is to take whatever you want to bring across and just drag and drop into your project panel. And then there's, there's a rain, for instance. And if I was into my Sea Houses edited version here, and if I wanted to add some rain in, I've got some dynamically linked rain. And because I created it in After Effects, all I needed to do was literally drag and drop it in, or alternatively, file Adobe Dynamic Link, import After Effects composition. So those are the basics for getting your composition out of After Effects and used in Premiere Pro. And in the next tutorial, we're going to start looking at exporting different types of file directly from After Effects, which can be used as final project types or a different type of thing that you can actually use in Premiere Pro. My name's Andrew Davis. Thank you for watching.